Blue Apron's IPO gets off to a rough start. Microsoft acquires Cloudin, and the iPhone turns 10. It's Thursday, June 29th, and this is Crunch Report. Ingredient delivery business Blue Apron opened for trading on the public markets this morning at $10 per share, significantly below the originally proposed range of $15 to $17. It's also flat compared to the $10 that shares were priced at last night, meaning IPO investors didn't see any initial gains. For tech companies, last year's IPO market was pretty rough, but when Snap went public a few months ago, it seemed like things were warming up. The reaction to Blue Apron's financials, however, has been mixed. On the one hand, it has strong revenue for a company that's just five years old, but like many venture-backed startups, there are losses. The other question is whether Amazon might start to offer something similar now that it's acquired Whole Foods. Back in April, we began hearing that Microsoft was in the process of buying Israeli cloud startup Cloudin. Today, Microsoft finally made it official. Sources tell TechCrunch the price is between $50 million and $70 million. Cloudin could be a useful addition at Microsoft by providing a way to help customers monitor how their Microsoft services are working in the cloud. Microsoft has already acquired several other Israeli enterprise security firms, including Arato, Adalem, and Secure Islands. Instagram is flipping the switch on a system that will automatically detect mean, offensive, and harassing comments and make sure that people never see them. The new system is based on work that Facebook and Instagram have done with Deep Text, a text classification engine meant to help machines interpret words in context as a way to fight spam. And now it's being applied beyond spam. The idea is that if someone enters comments that falls into categories like bullying, racism, or sexual harassment, those comments should just disappear. Though, they'll still show up for the original poster to keep them from trying to override the filters through repeated attempts. It's been a rough couple of months for Uber with legal troubles and the resignation of its CEO. The service, however, is still growing. Uber riders have taken $5 billion with a B trips using the service, more than doubling the $2 billion milestone it hit back in 2016. And while the announcement came today, the $5 billion mark was actually crossed back in May. We don't know exactly how Uber's business as a whole is doing, but recent third-party stats on things like app downloads suggest that rivals such as Lyft are starting to make gains. Our final story isn't about something that happened today today, but rather 10 years ago today. The iPhone went on sale for the first time. At this point, it's hard to overstate the impact that the iPhone has had on the industry. The device still serves as the template for a majority of modern smartphones, and the App Store, which launched a year later, has created an entire startup ecosystem. So happy birthday to the iPhone, and hopefully there'll be many more Apple devices whose birthdays are worth celebrating in the future. That's the report for today. I'm Anthony Ha, filling in for Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.